G'day everyone and welcome to this lesson for Snow Heyo by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Now the first part of the song is pretty straightforward, but the second part is quite a challenging groove just because there's a lot of extra ghost notes and some strange syncopation as well. And then the whole outro has a bunch of syncopated fills that we'll look at as well. So I've done my best to work out all the bits and pieces. Let's hop on the kit and I'll show you what I've done. The groove that we use for the first part of the song is really easy, but it's got heaps of Chad Smith on it. And what I mean by that is the way that he hits his hi-hats, the extra sizzles that he puts in there, the ghost notes on the snare drum, it all really makes it sound like he's drumming. Now at the end of the day, you're going to sound like you, so that's what you should strive for. But I've written out a bunch of the notes just so you have an idea and maybe you'll get a few different ideas that you can incorporate in your drumming. Anyway, to start with, we've got this simple fill and then we're straight into the groove. A one, two, three. One, two, three. Two tiny little variations. Every now and again, we have a hi hat sizzle on the end of four. And then sometimes one extra kick drum through the verses as well. We use the same fill as the intro right before the lyrics come in. When we move into the Hey O section, we have this fill right before it, which is pretty straightforward. So then we're into the hey-o section, and once again, things change up a little bit here and there. So let me play through four bars of that section for you. From there we go back into a verse, and this is the fill that leads into that section. We go back through the verse, we go into another hey o section, and then at the end of that we have a really similar fill right before we go into the tom hits on beat 2 and beat 4. Okay, so that fill's going to go like this. Then we have tom hits on beat 2 and beat 4. And then leading into the next groove, we just have a big 16th note snare drum fill. Now this is where things start to get a little bit tricky, because we've got four snare drums to the bar in this groove, but I can hear a bunch of ghost notes as well. So I'm going to play three 16th notes on beat 1 and beat 3. And then we also have this kick drum pattern that you really want to lock in as much as you can, because in just a second we're going to try and mix up our ride cymbal pattern just a little bit. So for starters, let me play you the groove. The first time through this section, pretty much the only fill that we need is just mixing up that ride cymbal. So we're going to play the bell of the ride on the end of 2, the E of 3, and then right on beat 4 as well. Okay, so that's going to sound like this. It might take a lot of practice just to get that independence. But as I said, try and lock in the kick drum and the snare drum pattern, get that absolutely locked away, and then you can concentrate on mixing up that right hand. This is what it will sound like slowly. And then coming out of that section, we have a fill that goes like this.
From there, we go back through another verse, and then we go back through another section, just the same as the one I just showed you. And then the next thing we need to look at is when we start playing a lot more fills moving into this big outro section. So the groove stays the same as the one that we just played, but there are a bunch more fills. So the first fill that I'm going to show you is when the electric guitar just kind of goes ch -ch -ch. It's right after that, you'll be able to hear it, and then this fill kind of starts us into that outro section. The next fill is four bars after that, and it really sticks out because there's toms at the end. You'll be able to hear it for sure. Then moving on, this next one has a flam on the snare drum at the end, so I think you'll be able to hear that one as well. And here's another super syncopated fill that pops up. I'll skip over a couple of fills from here just because the ones that he uses are really similar to the ones I just showed you. So just recycle them and you'll be able to get through this whole section. The next fill that I can hear has a little bit of space. You'll hear what I mean when I play it and it moves the syncopation up onto the crash cymbals. Right before we move our groove up onto the crash cymbal, we have a snare drum fill. One thing I should point out that I haven't already is that I can hear left foot hi-hats right the way through that section. It just kind of adds a bit of energy and it helps you probably to keep time as well through all that syncopation. So if you want to add it, definitely do it, but I haven't written it in just because I didn't want to mess up the notation and make it too confusing. So anyway, moving on, we are now using our same groove, but we're up on the crash cymbal and we are very nearly at the end of the song. So let me play through four bars of this section for you. And then the very last fill is just a 16th note triplet run right down the toms. And there we go. I hope that's been helpful in giving you a few ideas on how to play Snow Heyo by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Don't forget to put your own spin on it, but definitely steal some of those cool syncopated fills that Chad Smith plays. Anyway guys, happy practicing, and I'll catch you at the next lesson.